Hey guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm here with an exciting video of the Phantom 3 standard. Now, I've been wanting this drone for about three to four months, well, actually since last summer, but I've been pretty serious about it for three to four months, watching price trends. Uh, Black Friday, they had a really good deal on it for uh, $3.99, and then I didn't see that deal again until just a couple weeks ago. And right when I was about to get it, it went back up to $4.99. And after watching price trends for a while, it finally came back down, so I got it right where I wanted it. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to be unboxing it, doing a little comprehensive review. Um, I obviously won't have it for very long before I do the review, so it's just going to be a quick one. However, if you do like the video, uh, let me know and I will do a full review of the drone itself once I play with it some more. So around the box, we have the Phantom 3 on the front, and then on the back, we have the, uh, the same thing. It just talks about the GPS and the, uh, the 3-axis gimbal for the camera, and then the Wi-Fi with the HD view. Here's some of the specifications. Um, it works with iMovie and Final Cut. I mean, it's just video footage, so uh, yeah, it'll work with pretty much any video editing software. It says it's YouTube Live, live certified. I have no idea about that. That'd be pretty cool to do a live uh, video. Okay, so on the bottom there are two pieces of tape, and then these two tabs come up, and then this one tab lifts up. Okay, looks like we have our booklets here. This is probably stuff that I actually will read just because I obviously want to keep the drone in good condition and um, I've never flown a drone before, so it should be fun. Here we just have some protective cardboard recyclable material. And let's see, here's the drone itself. We're going to pull that out, set it to the side for now. Okay, so it looks like the first thing besides the controller and stuff is going to be the bag of props. Um, I think there's eight of them. They come in a nice little bag, so I'll make sure to keep that. There are silver and black ones in there, so you can match them with the drone. Silver and black. We'll set those off to the side also. And here it is, the nice big hefty controller with a phone clamp on it. So clamp your phone there for flying. And yeah, that is a big controller. That's nice. And charger. I assume the battery must be already in the drone, unless it's already, or unless it's in this box. Uh, open it up and take a look. Here's our charger brick, and here's our wall cable. And then in here we have a charger for the controller. These two are for the drone battery itself. This one is for the controller, micro USB. You can charge it from a computer, a wall ward, anything. The wall is going to be faster. Um, so set those off to the side. And then lastly, we have a box of little accessories. So let's see what we have in here. Okay, in here we have some little gimbal stabilizer things, and then a, uh, a prop mounter, I guess, if you need to get a good grip on it. So, looks like that's it for the box. Let's get that off to the side and start looking at some stuff. Okay, so I just did a couple things, like um, I took the little stickers off of the, uh, the little prop holders that are threaded. Um, they just show that there are black uh, props and silver props, and you need to make sure that they're aligned. Um, and then there's this camera housing down here, just keep it safe during shipping, I guess. Um, you can just slide that off. The camera is free to move around. Um, and the gimbal, you can see, maybe, I don't know how close it is, is uh, going up and down with these little cups, these little mounts. Um, and also I did check the battery, and it was almost dead, so we are going to charge that. Alright, now we can look at how to charge the drone battery itself. Here you can see is our power cable, and here we have our power brick. So I connected the power brick to the cable, and basically now, this little end has a little flap. You're going to pop that up to expose the, uh, the charger itself, and then it just kind of hangs there. And that plugs straight into the bottom of the, uh, the charger, or the battery itself. Now when we plug it in, let's see if we get any lights. Okay, so I didn't see any lights until I hit the button, and now you can see that the lights look like they're filling up. So I'll come back in a little bit and see if it uh, gets to three bars. Okay, so here we are. We're going to try this. I'm going to slide to take off. And as you can see, it is up in the air, so now we're going to try and move it around. Oh, 
Okay, so I don't know how well you can see, but that is me on that basketball court. Um, I'm on beginner mode, so it locks me at 97 feet, and that still looks really high up there. There you can see, there it is up there. So that's 97 feet. Okay, so I'm gonna slide to return to home. And now it is beeping, and here it comes. I am not touching the controller. There it powers off, the controller was down there the whole time. Okay, so that concludes my video of the DJI Phantom 3 standard. Um, I had a couple hiccups when I started. Uh, when I got out here, it had to upgrade the uh, firmware again, and my phone died during the middle. I have an iPhone success that dies at like 60%, so that's not good. However, um, I used a Samsung Note 4, and I sent it up and had it uh, take off for me and land for me. And I had it on beginner's mode, so it only went up to uh, 74 feet, I believe, and um, I think I got some, some great results. Uh, this isn't the best place to you know, do uh, some cinematic shots, but it's a good place to learn because it's big and open. So, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting, and I can't wait to make more videos.